Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Shadow Empire, the Steam release series, episode number 7 now. We're going to jump back in right where we left off, which was basically in the middle of our attack. But even though I'm in the middle of a turn, I had the, I had the, I mean, benefit of reading all the comments on the previous video. And one comment, I mean, there's many, many helpful comments, but one in particular is sticking with me right now, and that's this comment that... Yeah, we don't need to kill everybody here, we just need to take the city. And that's actually, they said it was for miners, but I mean, it's really true for majors too. Most of the time you, you destroy the major and you eliminated the, you cut the head off the, the snake. So, that's what our goal is going to be. Okay, that's, well, it's good I find that out. I might even thread everyone back around. So there's two ways I can deal with this. I can try to push through and get over here. That would also be acceptable, wouldn't it? Okay, I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to push here, and we'll see what happens. If the unit decides to come southeast and try to cut me off, really, we'll just cut them off. I don't really mind losing this area down here. They're not going to be able to cut off the lines here. So, yeah, we're, we're in good shape. I don't mind that. If we can lure them out. And ideally, we would have anybody... Does anybody have the means of getting over to this hex? Unlikely. Hmm. Okay. Well, we should shift somebody north, and I guess four is our guy here. I'm assuming that we aren't going to get good odds. Yeah, this is high mountain. Going to be very difficult. So let's move in here. Let's move four all the way up here. And then that's it. We'll prepare to make the big moves next turn. Um... The second um, headquarters, with you know, reasonable, still has a few number of troops. I'm, still, I'm trying to figure out what's the best thing to do with them. I want to kind of protect these hexes from being occupied, so I want somebody in position to do that. I guess that's what this person's doing. Yeah. Okay, let's move them one closer though. We can counter back if uh, if this raider unit gets very aggressive. Now I don't think there's much else to do except for with this political aid truck. I just feel like it's got to go on the galactic... Well, it doesn't have to, frankly. I'm, I'm very tempted to put it on my galactic republic troops, but it might be better on something else. In fact, maybe I want to hang on to it for now. So, what was it? I think, uh, who was... Um, your name is it bill <laughs> somebody mentioned that this gives like a, it reduces the or has a 25 percent chance of reducing the readiness loss in combat something like that anyway we might not need it on a tank i think it's i honestly do think it'll be more effective on infantry like relative effectiveness but even a small increase in effectiveness in an already very effective unit like the tank it might be like magnitude wise like raw magnitude might be better okay well let's not overthink it too much i'm just going to not deploy it yet think on it which means think on it until the end of this episode probably some good um decisions here but i don't think any of them are worth doing right now we're pretty much in good shape to take over this last i mean to this first city of ours to expand for the first time especially with Hawken slowly getting happier and Slavers we don't have to worry about. We're constantly on the on the knife's edge of defeat if Salzburg decides to attack. So we will end the turn. Um, trade I already looked doesn't have anything, and we're right at the right at the the line for getting enough industrial points to finish our recycling center. So I can't do any troop upgrades, even though we do have better better infantry, better troopers is the version. We do have better troopers available. We're going to have to make do without until, uh, well, until we have enough industrial points to start reinforcing. So I will end the turn and I will see you back. Well, I'll just bring you right back in for it. 1100 infantry killed, 200 lost. So yes, we were attacked. Discovered hydroponics. We got our new buggy. And unrest. Why is there any unrest? Okay, it's dropping. No big deal. Actually, this is strange to me that population... Oh, we must have gotten so unlucky 
With only an arrest of seven, we lost three happiness due to high unrest. Wow. Okay, well, we'll make do with that. Problem with bringing you in early now, I realize, is <laughs> I shouldn't. I didn't really give myself time to prep the turn. This might be a little bit slower. Okay, bazooka and virus suit done. Yeah, nothing really we can do there. Pretty simple decision. Um, I think I want to move over here just to protect our line of supply. And I, I don't mind if they take this. I want to get rid of that, in fact. <laughs> so hopefully it pushes them away and gets them dealing with other stuff. Okay, now how are we dealing with here? I, I don't even remember seeing any movement, but we do need to check the history because I, I need to see if anybody moved into that ruins. Okay, so... They moved from here into there. Okay, so that means this is now unoccupied, which is good. Then they attacked here. This is like, it's perfect. You're doing my job for me. Six thousand. That's quite a. That's quite a high number. And that's all they did. Okay, he moved. That unit moved to the southeast. But they didn't. They didn't secure their northern border. Okay, fair enough. That's all I really wanted to see. So let's get to the business here. Um, main business is surround. Surround, surround, surround. So I might need to here, here. I need to swing everyone around one. Okay, yeah. We'll just move you here. Unfortunately, keeping the second, which is actually a reasonable unit. I probably should swap. Okay, this is artillery, so we want that. Are we going to be able to take it this turn? I doubt it. Let's move the fifth in, move the tank in as well. Yeah, so we've done our we've done the main thing, which is cut off all other reinforcing troops. I don't really care about cutting them off and killing them, supply and all that. It doesn't really matter. The main thing is and if I'm not mistaken, yeah, that's the ruins. The main thing is don't let them reinforce the city, which means we'll we'll be attacking from five sides and hopefully trying to take it before this other rifle militia can engage. Now let's see first of all what kind of attacks we can do. We can do okay. We might be going for it. Let me switch back real fast and see what kind of attack we can get done. Okay, 3.8. I'm already seeing some good numbers here. So, okay, we got it. We are going to get it this turn, I think. Let's do our bombardment first. Getting a few hits here. That's good. Hopefully raising those odds. And we got quite a few hits, actually. Reduction of entrenchment as well. All these things are very, very good for the upcoming attack. Now, go ahead and see what kind of odds we're getting. 24 to 1. Well, let's do it. Don't think twice. <laughs> okay, we lost our elite sniper. Oh no, we lost militia biker. Some troopers and a machine gun. But we won. So that's it. Mission accomplished. And yes, we'll pile everyone in because... We're expecting some unrest. <laughs> Anybody who can go in, just go in. So we're not expecting to have to deal with any of these troops. They should just disappear before they have a chance to do anything, really. Okay, very good. So after this, we can go back to, well, tending to our borders, I guess. The West will be... Uh, well, I, I don't even know what we got access to. We're going to find out where the borders... I guess the borders are just right here. But... Our borders will expand. Like, this is Gigoyas. I don't know how far east we're suddenly going to have access to. I never... Normally, I, I do enough spying that I know the full territory of the nation I'm at war with. And this is just one of those cases... One of those times where that wasn't the case. Okay, we have a lot of vision of the slavers. They, and they have a lot of territory. I'm wondering if it's worth it to try to look at Laosham Hansa. We have three cards. We could we could do it. Now, unfortunately, uh, where can I get you? Uh, they, as a major, will kill my spies off pretty quickly. You can see the difficulty is pretty bad. Nah, that's all, I don't think that's worth it. Okay, so let me just go through the order of things. Decisions was supposed to be first. I don't even remember. What was my decision? Oh, yeah, it was the model of design. So that's done. Let's go to trade. Is there anything I want to sell? Well, I mean, we have tons of fuel. 0.27 isn't that bad of a rating. 
Let's just sell 400 of it. Oh, actually, let's just go for the full amount. I'm surprised that the, tr the slavers didn't offer us more people. Um, food is another thing which we... We don't have to the tune of selling a whole 1,000, but I don't mind getting down to 1,000, so we can sell, let's say, 700. For 196, yeah, that seems worth it to me. Roger that. Uh, rare metals is actually a very good price right now. I might not want to sell everything just because eventually we're going to need to solar power. Not yet, 625, we're doing quite well. Okay, I mean, you might as well sell in bulk because the price is going to, we're going to crash the market. Yeah, let's we'll just do it. Okay, well, that concludes trade, and that was a pretty productive trading turn. Check city happiness. Well, I have a feeling that Goyes is not going to be exceptionally happy, but we'll, we'll have to wait one more turn to find out. Um, let's see, did you finish? This is important. <sighs> what the heck happened, man? It was two metal short? No, it was six industrial points short. But we have 103 and we only went up by 67? Wait, 103. Yeah, that's five more. There's a, there's five. We have six in stock. Well, this is another thing that I don't fully understand, but they're saying that we didn't, we, we have six that could have gone there. Six in stock. Oh, uh, that's must, I mean, is that like designated for the recycling facility? Hmm. Well, I don't know. Somehow we messed that up, but we don't have to worry about it now. So we can, I'm going to start upgrading our units. At this point, it doesn't really matter. In fact, it might be the right time. Okay, we have a city right now. It might be the right time to do some of our stratagems. And by those, I mean the bad stratagems. So bad rations, this seems like a really good time to do it because we just finished our war. So we'll do it. Sorry about that, folks. And paranoia. Now, I don't need this this turn. I can save it for one more turn because I will hope it lands on our new city, Gugoyas. Not my favorite name for a city, but I won't rename it. It's fine. Shadow Spy, we have Calm Down. Yeah, we do have a lot of potential things which, which will help out in the new city. I don't know if I'll need them. I hopefully won't. How are we doing as far as commerce goes? Well, plenty of rounds left before we can get there. Okay, fair enough. But five fate points, that makes me happy. I don't think there's anything else to do. And again, I'm trying to not spend too much time dilly-dallying. Well, the one thing, I guess, since we don't need anybody else over there, I will go over here and just protect my assets. Really, I guess we just need to protect the road, but this protects all the road and everything, so... I mean, the asset, you can't... I think you actually have to move on to an asset to take it over. It kind of has a zone of control of its own. So... We will end the turn. And I'll see you back in a, in a second. Okay, um, well, Gigoya is ours, and we have the border now. So let's take a look at what happened. I don't think the history shows anything of interest. Action on the border, a little movement of the those guys. Oh, I didn't even notice that. They finally did it. They, they, they did it. They've done it. They've done it. They've actually helped me so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Finally. Now, if only we can push them back this way so they can also take that hex. But otherwise, I mean, we're, we're in really good shape now. Okay, so what else? Yeah, this. So huge. We took Gagoya, so we get a fate point for that. Fate pack as well. Civilization level up to two. Didn't realize that. Okay, we got bad rations. We got gladiators. We got Boomtown. This is like the perfect pack of cards. Uh, Militia loss of faith. Also awesome. Eager industrialist. Also really good. Oh my gosh, we're we are. Motherload is the only card I would replace here. Commercial problem. Oh my god, this is perfect. This is so good. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's like the perfect, perfect, perfect set of cards. So we, we have a lot that we can do here. I want to check, first of all, what level of commercial area. We're at commercial area level two. I'm just surprised that somehow... Okay, this went up by five. That's, that's good. This is more what I'm expecting. 
Didn't the fear happen in Gogoyas? I haven't done it yet. Okay, let's 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 do this right away. We're gonna jump. Okay, trade. By by the way, I did look when I came in. Nothing useful for us. We're not gonna sell metal. Um, okay, so the next thing: decisions versus first and foremost. Okay, for this, I don't. I don't really want to quote unquote waste either capacity three or capability three in this role. Although Peter Keynes would not be bad. Peter Keynes would not be bad. Lots of charisma. I'm just really tentative to use a capability three in a governor role because I feel like that those are the least important. So we're gonna go here. And we're going to recruit a civilian and see what we get. Perfect. Much higher intelligence and a little bit lower charisma than I would have liked, but they're going to like us a lot, and that's might be the most important thing. Look at these skills, man. This guy's quite good. How old are you? 46. Perfect. So we'll appoint this guy. He's not really high up on the seniority list, but <laughs> he'll he should get the job done. And hopefully that hopefully he has a nice high happiness rating with me for a little while. Now we can start cranking through some fate points here now and hold on to your horses. This is gonna be pretty furious. Okay. You go, yes, we're uh, that's perfect. Fear 21, that's that's a good thing. We're gonna further <laughs> sap our troops. And we're gonna do the militia loss of faith. Luckily that's militancy, not militia profile, which people could get offended by. We don't need the money now, but we do have that 1,000, which I might, yeah, political points is, or we might be swinging towards the political points. I know that, temp, that it's very tempting to look at the technology for four points, but we have a few other things to do first. Zones, I clicked on the wrong one. <clears throat> okay, so we have Boomtown, Gladiators, Eager Industrialist, Mother, we have a lot of good things here. I think that we're gonna start off we, I know that uh, Hulkin has, wow, Hulkin's actually quite big, 115,000. Might have to pay the workers more or something. I don't know why worker happiness, uh, it's high danger. Man, danger's not that high. But anyway, so as soon as our danger, everything should be gone in maybe three or four more turns. Danger just diminishes so quick, uh, so slowly at the very end. I hate it. But hopefully it's not going to affect us too much. And then our worker happiness should start rising. Uh, what else would we need here? I think that the one we want to use there is the eager industrialist. Extra level of private light industry, and we are at zero. Okay, yeah. We'll use it. Good. Targeting the correct zone, Hulkin. Yeah, let's do it. So this is basically going to be um, a little bit of money, I think, and it also, more importantly, gives us industrial points. And then we haven't built regular industry yet, so those are very welcome. Uh, now, commercial project, this gives us happiness. We already have a few points of that. Uh, we already have a few commercial, yeah, we can see commercial area level two, thanks to some good cards earlier. So this one is going to be played in Gagoyas, which makes sense because Gagoyas is going to have a hard time for a little bit. Why not start getting it on the right path a little bit quicker? Aye, aye, sir. There we go. Um, we can also use gladiators on Gigoyas, which should also help. What does Gigoyas have, by the way? Let's take a look at what the city has. I have no workers here. Um, 37, so that's... If we can get this going up... Okay, so well, I'm just going to pile pretty much everyone into the city. The entire 1st Brigade will be in here, as well as any... Like this very high, uh, this has a lot of militia troops in it, 1,500, 1,800, I guess. So these guys are going to sit in Gagoyas as well, just so we can get unrest down as quickly as possible. And this territory has a lot of good mine, um, sorry, uh, ruins, a lot of scavenging potential. 23 here, not in Gagoyas itself for some reason, but 12.5 uh, here, uh, and kind of like a, a normal amount. But these are just, like this is one road away very simple this one's already got a road to it so two very easy targets for lots of metal and fuel and of course more rare metals that we can sell eventually or you know at some point we're going to need to build solar power so 
that'll happen too. Okay, so what do we want to put in there then? Ah, man, we might actually want to construct something here just because there's no workers. Now, I guess if there's no workers, there's no worker unhappiness. I guess technically it's being tracked still. Because <laughs> it's, it's not giving us a number, but it's doing some calculations. I was kind of hoping that until you have a worker, the worker happiness would just be the same as the city happiness, in which case we can wait to have workers until our city happiness goes up, but wishful thinking. I don't think it's going to work that way. So yeah, let's get the gladiators here. Um, yeah, what assets? Oh, so we do have light industry here already. Scout station and hospice. What? Really? Huh. That's great. They already have a commercial area? No, no, I just did that. Okay. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> That's awesome. So yeah, let's use the gladiators here. And hopefully that will help with yeah 100 in quality life entertainment that should be helpful boomtown <clears throat> here's the big question do i want to play this i mean population is super important but Hawken actually has a really high population for this early in the game at least 115,000. it's definitely going up too why is it going up i mean we haven't sucked all the free folk dry uh, eventually all the free folk will migrate to the city i mean Generally, if you don't do things too wrong. Uh, okay, so let's get moving then. Um, we did trade, we did assets. No, we haven't actually done assets. So we, we finished finally that last 1% or whatever it was of our recycling center. Which, which leads us with... <clears throat> we could do bureaucratic office level 2, which would be pretty important. And we have a lot of population that can support such a high workload. We can start getting level two quality of life stuff. Oh my gosh, we don't even have level one for hospital. Well, that might be, that might be something we want to invest into. Yeah, everything else is above health. <clears throat> but honestly, the quality of life might be more important to get in Gagoyas right now, which will mean that we'll have workers, but I think a hospital here would be very important. We can see health score zero Education score is also zero, so we could get a university, which will give us um, bonus research points as well. I'm not sure how much, but the fact that it doubles up for two different things. But then at the same time, I think quality of life security helps you decrease unrest faster, so there's just, there's a world of options here. Bureaucratic office, really cheap. I think we're going to stick with uh, building a lot of stuff in Gagoyas for a while. What do I want to start with? Like security, we have at least 50 points. I think education or health would make sense. All right, let's do the university. Aye, aye, sir. Okay, now let's start piling everyone in here. So first, you're getting in there. Uh, you are going to be sent all the way over here. That was risky. I don't know why I did that. I, I clicked one too far. <laughs> Interesting. So... What is this? Political points. Okay, that's good. Um, fifth, you get in there. And, oh, is the seventh here? Where's the seventh? Oh, you actually don't need to be in there. But you're, you're extremely low readiness. Yeah, 36. We'll leave you there just one more turn. So how do I want to deal with this? Then we have six here. We have 10 here. Okay, so I think what we're going to do... Yeah, th this makes a lot of sense. Just get as far as you can, I guess. And six will go this way. Or do we need somebody... Hmm. Do I need to pretend against, uh, protect against Salzburg? I don't think so. I think we just need to push west as quickly as possible. Yeah, and then uh, any militia like this, which are not gonna add a substantial number of troops i'm gonna send those guys out but everyone else is here now is there any militia i sent in that i didn't really need to yeah this this group has a total of 300 that's just not gonna do anything so we'll send them north yeah the tank is also not going to do oh cool well that's really cool yeah we'll we'll, we'll take that 
So we actually got the political point. I don't know if we'll be attacked or not. I mean, God forbid we lose our tank in some kind of crazy effort here, but I don't think so. I doubt it. Be a surprise. And honestly, I don't even want the Galactic Republic in here because there's a possibility we'll get some kind of riot and I'll need to you know, crush it with my military. And the worst thing that can happen is you lose Galactic Republic troops while you're you know, against a riot. It's just not, not ideal. So I'll move them up here. We might be able to do some attacks against whatever those guys are. And now everybody who I want in here, I think is in there, which is, yeah, all of the one, two, three, four, five, plus seven, plus this militia, which has a lot of troops. Okay, good. So that looks good. We're at 25 minutes, man. We've, we've actually been cruising along pretty well in this episode, which is nice. It's a, it's a good change of pace. I'm actually getting the pace up. What else do we need to do this turn? Um, there was a lot of strategic cards I was looking at. Did I play them all? We could even do calm them down, but I just don't know if this is necessary. It'll decrease zone unrest by a lot, which is good. It, basically, if you don't think you're going to get the city under control fast enough to prevent the population going going down, I mean, the happiness from going down to zero, then this is not a good card. Actually, one of the things I want to do is start shifting the borders. So, uh, zone borders, one, two, three, four. I want the borders to be as much Halkin as possible because Halkin is going to be in better shape. One, two, three, four. So, yeah, let's start doing this. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll take all that. It also minimizes the area where um, rebels can spawn if they spawn. So yeah, we'll we'll take all this. One, two, three, four, five. We can go one more. And if the rebels spawn further away, okay, we'll we'll just we might just let that happen. One, two, three, four, five, six. We we actually could take this and this, which I don't want to take. But at the same time, if rebels spawn in the ruins, they'd be hard to deal with. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we could take that as well. I tried to go only six, because I think six is the limit for administrative strain. And I'm not planning to work any of these, but part of me just doesn't want to cheese the game so much. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's also stop them from spawning in the mountains. We can stop them there, and then there. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Okay, so something like that. I think that's the limit of our six radius. So, thank you. Go back to, well, we really want movement mode, but Anyway, okay, so we don't want to do that attack, that's that's for sure. In fact, now that we have this territory, how do we want to deal with this? We need one more turn to get in position. Just start protecting the line, though. I don't know what that is, otherwise I'd move my HQ a little bit further forward. Okay, I think we're good here. Let's see, uh, Did I? I didn't start building anything yet, did I? I did. Okay, University, which is going to take all of our points, because it's a 200 total IP. Um, so soldiers are just going to have to wait for a while. Their morale is probably crappity crap. It is 34. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I mean, that's not even that bad. I thought it would be worse. Anyway, we've got a, a nice bundle of fate points we can use in, in any situation where we need to. Is it time? I mean, maybe... Uh, Population growth is so important, but really what we need to do is get more points so we can build more things so we can use these workers. I mean, really what we want, what I really want is the bureaucratic offices. That's got to be the next thing. Can we do both at once? No, definitely not. Okay, so we just need to wait a couple turns. Two more turns, then we can build the bureaucratic office here. Get some more bureaucratic points. Probably bureaucratic offices up in Gagoyas. They don't have anything else going on. Hopefully get the unrest under control. So yeah, that's the question. Do I want to bank on getting the unrest under control before it goes down to zero? If so, then I want to play this strategic card. Calm them down. We also have feasts. So I can really, I mean, if I just want to go all in on it, I can just play all these cards and try to stop the spiral before it happens. <sighs> okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to put, because I think that the more cities you have, the more easy it is to take one extra city like the first city you take your the size of your city numbers at least is increasing by 100 percent. it's just huge so you're in the worst position i think generally not it's situational but generally i think you're in the worst position on 
taking your first city. So we're going to go all in on Gagoyas. Aye, aye, sir. Wow, four, wow, we got a good roll. And we'll calm them down. Aye, aye, sir. Minus, one, tw minus 12. And uh, Boomtown, do we want to play this? Like, we're going crazy as it is. Let's just give it to Halkin. Yes, sir. Nice. 4,200, that's, that's good. Mm. Oh. Okay, well, I was waffling back and forth about whether or not to move this unit a little bit forward. If we do, it would actually pro project zone of control further south, so I want to do it. Maybe even just do that and then come back. That works, too. That works. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. These units will be able to support us. I don't want him to get into combat because we just tanked all their morale and they're gonna they're gonna retreat very, very quickly. So right now is not the time to be doing anything crazy. So much so that I think it's probably a good idea to even double these two up, just in case they get attacked. Yeah, I think that was a good idea. If he moves out here, then we can surround him, move into the mountains, whatever. We'll deal with that. We'll let our morale go up first, but so I think that's a good idea, and I think we're done with this turn, which is probably a good time for us to call this episode. Relatively successful. I think we're in good shape. Oh, what's this yellow? You didn't get supply? Oh. Oh, is that, wait, is that because of the zone switch? Didn't really pay attention to this first, but yeah, we lost twice. It might be the limit. Um, I think we have too much going on. So let me ask the question. Do we have, do we have access to, no. We would actually really benefit from having paved roads now. Sealed roads, I guess they're called in this game, but paved roads, right? Yeah. Well, Salzburg has got to be one of our upcoming targets, right? I mean, they're just they're smack in the middle of my territory. And it's, even when we take them over, it's going to be so weird <laughs> to be having to be managing two cities so close to each other. I, I dislike that, but yeah. And then obviously our dear friends. It's such a nice choke point to be holding this down here. We could go around them and just leave them to their little tiny six hexes, but I don't... I don't know, that's that's not, I don't envision that as the ultimate path forward. So anyways, let's call this video to a close here. We'll come back and I think I'll be able to think about it off camera or when I come back to play the next turn, the next video I should say. I'll look at this and see if there's anything I'm missing. Or you can shout at me in the comments if there's anything obvious that I'm missing to do this turn. Um, and then I'll, I'll tweak it right before I end the turn. End the turn and I'll see you back for the beginning of the next turn in the next video. Until then, thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care.